Hey guys! Probably everyone has heard about the big, totally unexpected update Sea of Thieves has planned on the 22nd of June. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the new trailer. Looks like a dream coming true. I'm a big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean and I never expected to see the characters from the movie walking into the Sea of Thieves world. I can't share my live reaction to the trailer anymore because I've seen it a couple of times already. So that won't be the same. But believe me, I was stunned. Instead of that, we'll watch the trailer together with you and tell you what we think and hope that we can expect from this unexpected surprise. Also feel free to write your own thoughts beneath the video. Ready? Here we go! So this island looks quite familiar, no? It looks a bit like the Walt Disney Castle. Might be coincidence, but it reminds us of that. We think this will be the island where the tall tale will occur mostly. In the end of the trailer you can see this island appear again. Well at least we think so, because all of this is of course speculation. We need to be patient until the 22nd. This is Sanctuary Outpost without a doubt. Now we finally see what they've been building all this time. As you know, they were building something at this spot on all the outposts. As you can see now in the trailer, this is the same place as they were building before. Seems this will be the location where you might be able to start one of the tall tales. There will be 5 new ones, so maybe this is the start of one of them. An eel wind blows from beyond the horizon. And this voice and the looks of that mysterious woman. Would this be Tia Dalma? She really makes me think of her. And does she sit in the new tent on the outpost? You can see different items behind her. Like that ship. Could it be the Black Pearl? Would that skull be Jack Sparrow's skull? And are those books journals? Or a start of a tall tale? Does that shell mean anything, or is it only decoration? You never know with a voodoo witch. A new danger is coming on the tides, and the one who might stop this ruin. Who might the skeleton be on top of all that gold? We think it might be Captain Barbosa. You can see him further in the video, and he looks like him. His voice also sounds like Captain Barbosa. Would we have to free him? Trapped. For all forever in the sea of the damned. Now to save the pirate life. You must start by saving the life of one. Oh! Didn't realize we had company. Captain Jack Sparrow. But I suspect you already knew that. Oh yes, we certainly knew that. How great is this? My favorite pirate all times is now in my favorite video game. Really can't wait to see this in the new update. Rare did a great job when they made Jack Sparrow in the Sea of Thieves style. Because of the treasure Jack stole, a darkness followed him here. We think this is the portal that will lead you to the Sea of the Damned and where the five tall tales will occur. This will probably be a story mode in the game. Only with your own crew so nobody will be able to ruin your story. And if it's not stopped, this world will sink into shadow. This sea holds many. This is definitely Tia Dalma's house, like in the movie. Sorry, had to mention it, so we're not sure if she'll be in this house or the tent on the outpost. Maybe she's also part of one of the tall tales and she's at this house during the tale. Could be. Secrets. Ah, a new body at last. So this is a skeleton we talked about before. This really sounds like Captain Barbosa's voice. So we think this could be him. All I can do is show you the way. From what I hear of this so-called Sea of Thieves, 
Now, this is an interesting view. Looks like there will be three new enemies across the seas. We read in an article by Joe Neat that even the decks might not be safe anymore. So we think that the ocean crawlers or new enemies will be able to jump on your ship and attack you. As you can see, each species holds a gem. So maybe this will work the same way as the mermaid statues. And the blue ones are easy, green ones are more difficult and the red ones the most difficult. So yes, finally we got our crab boss we've been asking for for so long. And even more new enemies, sirens or bloodthirsty mermaids. So from now on there will not only be sharks and megalodons that will attack you in the water. They'll be appearing all around the Sea of Thieves in future updates. Not just during our adventures with Jack Sparrow. A legion of dead, angry pirates. And this will be the terrifying phantoms they've been talking about in the article. Oh yes, and now one Davy Jones. Hello. Well, I believe that now is the perfect time to use these cannons. A world without the eternal base. Is a world that refuses to face the truth. Nothing lasts for We really don't know what this might be. Is it something Dave Jones can summon in the game? Maybe they couldn't use a Kraken because it was already in the game? So really no idea what this might be and what we'll be supposed to do with it. Destroy them! And what would this be? A new weapon? I'm sure I want one. So much cooler than an ordinary sword or pistol. Probably also part of a tall tale. I don't suppose by chance there's a second one of those? Well, these ghost ships look familiar, aren't they, Flameheart? They only look much more dangerous. They have more cannons on them, so this will be fun. We think the battle will be similar with the Flameheart battle, but with Davy Jones' ship instead. The Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. Wow, this still is my main reaction to all of this. Don't know what you guys think about it, but we're really looking forward to this new update. What do you think about the new trailer and what do you think we can expect with the new update? Make sure to let us know in the comments below the video. Now let's start counting the days until June 22nd. And please Rare, let there be a new curse to earn by completing all the tall tales. Let it be this one. Not so long ago we were mentioning it would be cool if there would be a curse inspired on Salazar. So please Rare, give us this curse. We well, hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Shiver me, Tim.